hello friends welcome to unity 3d teacher tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see drop down how to use the drop down in unity 3d and how we can be able to manage and customize the drop down using unity predefined ui of drop down system so go to the game object and then click on ui and then select drop down so this is the default drop down product by unity if you click and play you can check the options option a option b option c this is the default text which is which they provided so we are going to have our own customized options which you needed for our game for example i am going to create one sample fruits drop down so i i need to have instead of this text i need to have apple banana strawberry like that so i am going to the drop down editor in the drop down components just change in the option section change your the name which you like to do apply apple and then in the one on off and then we are going to have fine apple so that's it if you hit and play you can see all the three options which he, which is came in editor in the gameplay so in this way you can be able to change the options and you can have many number of options by hitting plus plus symbol and you can add how many options which you like to place for your drop down so this drop down is belongs to fruits so i need to have title as fr fruits for example if you have around 10 5 to 10 drop down people don't know which drop down for which so we need to have title or caption you can say for that we, you need to create one script in that script you need to have using unity engine.ui because it's belong to ui so we are going to have name namespace of unity engine.ui from there you can extract them What I done is I get the component of Dropbox from the editor system and then just assigned my caption should be my and my title should be a fruit. So let's hit, hit and play and let's see what happen. Before that you need to have that script inside the Dropbox. I'm just dragging a drop. Let's see. There you go. It's a pretty straightforward. You can have a title, fruits, and then have a subcategories which you like to show. So it's very good system. You can have many things like this. You can have many five to ten draw box, and you can have title so that people don't get any confused. So right now you can ask how to customize my draw box. I don't like this basic system, so I'm going to teach how to do that. So let's change the arrow for a draw box. I have some one sample arrow, so just drag and drop this click on the arrow and then just drag and drop in image this arrow that's it if you see it and play you can have your new style arrow and also you you need to, if you need to change this tick mark I am going to show you how to do that click on the template and then select report and then select item from there you can have check mark item check mark so this is the tick mark you are going to replace with our own customized tick mark so we have replaced let's see how it's working yeah there you go it's very good no so suppose we need to change the color and also a selection systems what you need to do so click on the dropbox from there you can select dropbox normal color to preset colors any which you have or you can select from there from here I have this color hit and play 
now you can see so we are going to have same thing for list for that you need to go to the template and then go to the item we need to change for every item so we are going to going to change the color for item now see that's it you have everything now so we are going to change color for the item which is selecting for change the color from the right time you need to select highlight color and then change to green or any color which you like to make I selected green now let's see that's it it's very easy system you, need, you don't need to change anything I have one white layer I need to find where it came from I think this is that's it so we just remove the background white layer can manually change here like this this is the thing for example people can ask how to change this in script for example they 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 have you have lot of options like 100 to 500 options for your people so if you have a lot of options you need to do in scripts better than editor so i'm going to show you how to do that wait one function name inserted So what I done is I created one list name like names. So I'm just get the Dropbox component and then added that all the names in the list. So this is the system. We are now we are going to have the names. That's it. Just copy, just copy this and place it in watch shot because we need to have in start button. Paste this. Before that, we we'll delete this predefined system which we have in editor. We don't want this here. We are going to call from the script. That's it. Now let's play and see. There you go. You can have all the elements which is coming from the list, not from the editor. So you can have, for example, right now I have three scripts. You can have around four, four, four buttons, four selection list buttons also. Let's see strawberry are ordered as a fourth one. Hit play. That's it. The fourth object is strawberry now. In this way you can be able to select each item from the drop down list. So this is the best system and easy method we can use it. Now we can see how to get the output from there. So I am going to create one text. Canvas and then UI text. That's it. And then just create public element 